The most important moment of your life may be in the next minutes. You may never have another moment like this. I believe that none of you are here by accident. This will be an hour of decision. And you will never be the same today. And your decision, yes or no, will decide where you'll be a hundred years from now. Almost everyone that I'm talking to has problems and burdens and sins, loneliness, emptiness, fear. The comfortable road will never lead you to the person you are destined to be, ever in your life. The day somebody will overcome fear and self-doubt and, and start their journey to greatness. What about you? Do you live a disciplined life? Do you live an organized life? Have you got your life organized and disciplined to the point that you can say no to those things that you know that are hurting your body? Listen to me, young people. We want success without sacrifice. But if it does not come to you the way you think it should, never cut corners. Because success will not be short-changed. You have to pay the price for success, and the price never goes on sale. You can't get success at somebody else's expense. You got to pay the price. You got to do the hard work it takes to be successful. Now you can't change your past, but you can determine your destiny. But what do you have to do? You have to repent of your sins. That means to be willing to change your way of living. You may have no power to do it. You may not have power to give up some of those habits you know are wrong. You may not have power to fall in love with your wife again. You may not have power to change your whole life that you know needs to be changed. But first, be willing to change your ways change your mind you spend a great deal of time alone many of you do so your mind is your only companion what do you think about what do you talk to your mind about that's your only companion is your mind for many of you there's a lonely arena in the depths of your heart where the greatest battle of life must be fought alone your parents can't make it for you. Your friends can't make it for you. Your girlfriend, your boyfriend can't make it for you. You have to make it yourself. If you're going to make it, if you're not going to cut corners, let me give you some advice. Overcome peer pressure. Because if you're going to make it, if you're going to be somebody, if you're going to, if you're going to get to the place where you don't cut corners, you've got to overcome the pressure that comes from wanting to be like everybody else overcome peer pressure the hyper generational segregation of our time is bizarre unhealthy and historically unprecedented you've never seen the like of people sitting at a table in a restaurant not talking to each other because they're texting and using their Facebook and and Instagram and Twitter and they are they are at the table and don't even know each other in the house and can't even talk to each other and and the pressure that's on us to be like everybody else is so great that everybody tries to live like they're in a reality show you can't sit down long enough without taking a picture of yourself you, get over yourself you ain't all of that and in most cases you ain't none of that get off of Facebook and put your face in a book learn how to spell learn how to speak overcome trying to be like everybody else get up and be industrious get up and go to work work is not a curse
Steve Jobs revolutionized the entire world with the iPhone and he never let his children use it because he did not want them dependent on technology we are great consumers but poor producers we will buy what we can't afford with money that we don't have to impress people we don't even know trying to be like everybody else overcome peer pressure work hard resist consumption travel somewhere so you can experience the difference between a need and a want go to somewhere like South Africa go somewhere where people don't have anything go to some place that is deprived and depressed and watch how you come back with a different attitude knowing that the things that we think we have to have is a luxury in another country because most of us in here are rich compared to how people live around the world your, don't, don't let your life be limited don't let your world be limited to just being around your kinds of people expand your horizons 